Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make an animated car glowing outline effect very easy in After Effects. This effect looks cool when you first make a car slam effect and after a glowing outline effect, so let me show you first how to make a car slam effect, in case if you already know how to do it, you can skip that part and jump to outline effect. First let's scroll to your second clip and make sure you are at the very beginning of that layer and then duplicate it. Now right click on duplicated layer, go to time and select freeze frame. Go 30 frames backward now, hold shift and press page up on your keyboard 3 times. Now move that frozen layer there and then make sure to cut the ending right where the second clip starts from. Let's pre-compose that frozen layer. I will name it to slam and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and hit OK. So now we have a still image and we can make a car slam effect, but first let's mask out the car. To mask let's grab a pen tool and mask out the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, scroll to very end of slam layer and press P on your keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a default keyframe, then scroll to the beginning of a slam layer and move position all the way up. Now let's select both keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like mine. Close graph editor now and then enable motion blur on slam layer. Nice, car slam effect is done and now we can begin making an animated glowing outline effect. Select your second clip and then grab a roto brush tool and double click on that video. Let's rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with it, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and go back to our main composition. So now we have a clean and smooth masked car and first what we are going to do is, duplicate that layer, then select bottom one and make sure to delete roto brush effect on it. Now select rotoscoped layer and let's rename it to glowing outline. Now we have to apply some effects on that layer, add first effect, find edges, then make sure to check invert. Now add a glow, I will use a deep glow plugin, in case if you don't have it, feel free to write me on Instagram a word, plugins, then wait for my reply. Under a deep glow plugin, decrease an exposure to around 0.10. Add next effect, extract and then make sure to move that effect above find edges and let's leave it as it is for now, we will make changes on it a bit later. Scroll to the very beginning of glowing outline layer and press P on your keyboard, then click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe, now go a few frames forward and move position up something like that. Now click on toggle switches slash modes and change glowing outlines mode to screen. Select both position keyframes and then hit F9 on your keyboard, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. It looks already cool, but let's slightly increase black point under the extract effect now, I think 29 is enough in my case. Now scroll forward something like this and press T on your keyboard, click on opacity stopwatch icon and then press U on your keyboard to open all created keyframes. Scroll to the second position keyframe and make sure to change opacity to 0%, then enable motion blur on glowing layer and let's quickly check the effect. Nice, it looks cool to me. Let's add some shakes now. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.